Hey guys, Eric Martel here. It's no surprise that over the last five years, I've made real estate my entire focus. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly why investing in real estate is the best passive income of 2022. I believe that everybody's number one goal should be to achieve financial freedom. And you can only achieve that by building a passive income portfolio. The best investment for that is rental real estate. I only started reinvesting in rental real estate five years ago and already I've achieved financial freedom. So buckle up because I'm going to tell you exactly why I'm putting everything behind real estate investment in 2022 and why you should too. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to watch more videos like this where I explain exactly what you need to do in order to achieve financial freedom like I did. How can you tell if an investment is good or better than another investment? A best investment is really a relative term and you have to look at kind of like the rewards, the returns that this investment is making for you, but also what kind of risk do you have to take in order to get that reward? Ideally, you would want your investment to have very high reward, high returns, and then very low risk or no risk at all. So let's talk about the stock market. Yes, it is possible to make higher returns on the stock market, but there's also higher risk associated with the stock market. It's possible to lose everything on the stock market. So when you look at it on the surface, rental real estate seems to have a slightly lower return than the stock market. But this is not the whole picture. You end up with appreciation that's not calculated in the returns. You have additional tax benefit. You have leverage. You have all kinds of other factors that are making the actual return of a rental property much better than what you would see in the stock market. On top of that, it's less risky. The chances of you losing your entire investment, the entire value of your property is almost none. Home values in the United States have increased 50% since November 2016, which really shows you that your investment, your rental property is increasing in value over time, is appreciating. Zillow predicts that home values is gonna increase double digit in 2022. This is driven by pandemic factors demographics and supply demand balance. On top of that, we're gonna have 45 million millennials that are about to buy their first house. That means an incredible increase in demand and that's gonna have, they're gonna to have to compete with other investors and other home buyers out there. There are kind of two schools of thoughts out there in terms of real estate investing. Some people invest for passive income and others invest for appreciation. And here's why I prefer the passive income focus. There's only one real commodity in life and it is time. You never have enough of it and you can't buy it. We all need to achieve some level of financial freedom. It's inevitable. We all want to retire. We all want to spend more time traveling, spending time with friends and family. And the only way to get there is to have a sufficient passive income portfolio so that you can take time away from your job. And you can't get there by investing in the stock market. The stock market is not something that is passive. You have to be active in order to maximize your return on the stock market. You have to trade in order to maximize your return. Generating passive income with rental real estate is easy. I don't have to worry about it. I have a property management company that manages the property. I have rent coming in every month. I don't have to worry about it. And money hits my bank account every month. So what should the return look like? So there are all kinds of different measurements for calculating return. My favorite one is cash on cash return. Cash on cash return means that I'm looking at how much cash I'm putting into an investment and how much cash I'm getting out. So let's look at how much cash I'm getting out of a rental property. So first I get my gross rent, the rent that my tenant is paying. With that rent, I'm paying the property management company, the insurance, the property taxes, any kind of like maintenance and repairs that are needed on a regular basis. I'm paying my mortgage and I'm actually left with cash after I've paid for all these expenses. So this cash, I'm comparing that with how much cash I had to put in buying that property in the first place. So the purchase, the down payment that I put in, if it had any kind of additional uh, closing cost, and that ratio is giving me my cash on cash return. What we're looking for in terms of cash on cash return, around 10% is a very good uh, cash on cash return. You can go as low as 8%, but I wouldn't go below 8% cash on cash return. If you buy a $100,000 property, for example, 
you have 20 you have to put 20 percent down that's twenty thousand uh, dollars maybe some closing costs like three thousand dollars so you the cash that you put in the particular investment that particular property is twenty three thousand dollars the rent for that property could be around like thousand dollars let's say uh, you have to pay property management. It's going to be uh, 10%. So that means $100 every month that you have to pay. You have to pay insurance, taxes, and your mortgage may be you know, $500 a month. So you would be left maybe with about $300 a month in uh, cash flow. The money left over after the gross rent paid for all the expenses and your mortgage is your passive income. This is making money while you sleep. And another advantage of investing in real estate is that you can use leverage. That means that you don't have to buy the whole property. You can just put some money down and get a mortgage for the rest of them. And in 30 years, your property is paid off. And real estate is also a great way to hedge against inflation because rent is increasing every month to keep up with inflation. The house also appreciates over time. And real estate is a great way to hedge also against market crashes. If you're investing for the long term, your house is always going to have some value because people always need a place to live and your house is going to appreciate over time. So let's get into some of the cons of investing in rental real estate. Well, first of all, you could be buying in the wrong market. So that means that, you know, for some reason you didn't do the, your research and you end up with a high crime area or low demand where people don't want to rent. Another big worry is having to manage the property, all, all the things associated with managing the property. We keep hearing about, oh, I don't want to have to deal with toilets and phone calls late at night and stuff like that. This is why you hire a property management company to handle that for you. If you have to handle all of this yourself, yeah, it could be a nightmare, but this is not what I recommend. I recommend that you hire a property management company and then your rent is going to pay for all of that anyway. I want you to have passive income so that you can achieve financial freedom, not get another job as a property manager. Another con that uh, people are often worried about is unexpected repairs like roof, appliances breaking down and all of that. And there are ways to handle that by basically setting money aside every month in a reserve so that when these kinds of unexpected expenses occur, you have the money in the bank to handle them. With all that being said, there are certain factors that are making this year the perfect time to invest in rental real estate. The first one of these factors is low interest rate. As I mentioned earlier, one of the advantages of real estate investing is that you can use mortgage to buy, to pay for the majority of your investment. I think it's important to take advantage of the low interest environment because if you buy a property right now, you can lock in a great rate for 30 years at 3%. If you wait and all of a sudden the interest rate goes up to 5%, uh, at that point, you're going to be paying an extra $100 a month in mortgage. So that's going to cut into your cash flow. In my opinion, I think this is the lowest that these rates are going to be for a very long time because the Fed and the government, they're going to try to fight inflation and one of the best tools for them to do that is to increase interest rate. So let's, uh, let's give an example. Let's say you buy a $100,000 property, you put 20% down, you get a mortgage for the rest. Uh, your mortgage payment is going to be about $337 a month. Uh, that is if you're locking in your rate at 3% today for 30 years. And your property might cash flow around $250, $260 a month. If you wait and uh, the interest rate goes up to 5% and you're trying to buy that same property, your mortgage payment goes up $100 a month. So instead of making $250 a month in net cash flow, you're now making $150. And again, we're looking for a target cash on cash return of about 10%. Below 10% is no good for you. In a message at the end of 2021, Jerome Powell hinted that the rates would evolve, which means prices of homes and what you can buy with your money will be affected very soon. So you better lock in the low rate now. I think 2022 is a very uncertain year. We don't know what's going to happen with the pandemic, the inflation, the economists can't even agree on what the inflation is going to do. Is it going to be a long-term inflation, short-term inflation? We don't know and they don't know. In order to avoid short-term pitfalls, you need to focus on long-term goals. Your number one goal should be to achieve financial freedom by building a passive income portfolio. I know that's what mine is. 
It's hard to buy a home right now, but considering the inflation, supply chain management, and the increase in costs, it might get even harder in the future. So if you have a property that cash flows, it's gonna make you money no matter what the house price is. And if you have a 30-year mortgage, the mortgage payments is always gonna be the same. And the house will continue to cash flow even if the market collapses. You also have the ability to put your rental property in an LLC. It protects you from just about anything that could happen on your property and protects your personal assets. Even with the uncertainty in the economy, there's never been a better time to jump into real estate. And now to the main reason why people are getting into real estate, profit. We haven't talked about it yet, but the potential benefits and rewards are huge. You pay yourself every month and you set yourself up for retirement. As you know, for me, your number one goal should be to achieve financial freedom. So cash flow is everything. And if you do it properly, you should be getting at least 10% return on your investment every year. This beats the stock market and your 401k investment most years and it has all the protections we just talked about in place. Next is appreciation. You can expect appreciation between three and 5% on average. And this is in addition to your cash flow. And in some years, your appreciation can go up to in the double digit depending on the area. That's why it makes it the perfect investment. It provides you cash flow every month and on top of that you get appreciation every year. Next is the principal pay down. You get additional equity every month as your tenant is paying rent and the mortgage is being paid down. So you get your cash flow, you get your appreciation and somebody is paying down your mortgage every month. Next is tax benefit. Let's just say real estate saves you money on taxes. So you can write off all your costs like property management, insurance, property taxes. And on top of that, you can do depreciation, which will reduce your income tax. We're not going to get into it now, but it's something called cost segregation that will really reduce your income tax. And for all these reasons, this is why I believe that real estate rentals is the best investment for everyone. Interest rate, inflation, profits and safety for market crashes are all excellent reasons for investing in real estate. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll keep making videos to show you why 2022 is the best year to invest in real estate for passive income. Thank you and see you soon.